Hello, today we are going to look at sessions on forms. Sessions are very awesome. They are divisions on a form, and that uh, helps uh, the interface with the user. So we are going to look at why we have sessions on forms on both model driven app and why we should have same on the Canvas app as well. So my name is Eric Inti and I hope today the session or uh, this session is going to be a very useful one. So first of all, we will look at the types of forms. As a background, we're going to look at type of forms quickly. We look at why we should have sessions. Then we look at some demo. Okay, so sessions helps the user to interact with the data or the data source and uh, it helps in editing and the entry of record it also helps to restrict uh for some business rules as well as some logical arrangement based on how the developer uh, go about with the sessions so we have some types of form for the model driven app we have main form quick create view quick view and then card for canvas we have edit form then we have a display form and then when we look at the structure of the model driven app form we have a header we have a body then we have sessions as well as controls so and then we have a footer as well so the session is what we are going to talk about um today so we we'll quickly go ahead and uh, so why do we have sessions on a form now the sessions help us to break the form into smaller ones so for instance you may have a form that is a very very long you have long form on the interface it sometimes put the users off so you may want to break uh, those forms into later ones into various sessions it also help you to group related data so you have you have um, a student database and uh, you may want to group the, the the parent session of the student uh, the name of the student where they live and the various contact details all those things you put them in various sessions it becomes very nice it helps the user to also concentrate on a specific area on a form when they are filling. It also enables you to build some business logic into especially branching on the form. So we go straight away to the form. This is a model driven up form that I have built based on the sales table. And uh, when we look at the sales table, let me go ahead and open the sales table. So this is a sales table with various um, columns. And uh, this is the form types that I was talking about, the card, quick view, and main. Now I have the sales table linked to this form now when we look at the interface we see that there is some division the first session is on the what the user will input i have another session called calculated session this calculated session the user wouldn't do anything it will just reflect on the calculus based on the amount that is done you know we have some um the table the calculator column and so on so with the calculator column because the user will not be inputting anything it will just pick the figures here and put them into another session so the user will just concentrate on this session and make the various entries then i also have another session called the attached file session so with this the user knows that when they are on the first session, 
they are just making entries. On the second session, they didn't need to do anything there. On the third session, they are supposed to attach the file. So this is how awesome uh, creating sessions are. It gives you, as I explained earlier, it gives the user an opportunity to concentrate on various areas. It also breaks the form. Otherwise, what it means is that this all this session would have been a very long one session. So to create a session, we are going to look at how we can create a session as I did it here. So to create a session, let me go back to um you pick on one of the forms that you want to establish so you pick the form okay so on the form as the form opens you have various um, sessions or various areas the form field the component when you click on the component It gives you a layout out session. Now we have one column, tab, and the tab is, let me make it a little bit bigger. Oh, it's too big now. Yeah, so these are the tab, the general tab, the related tab. These are the tabs. Then we have the session. So the session is one column session, two column, three column, and then four columns. Now when we look at the this app, we have two column sessions. So we have the first line or the first row, the columns, then we have the second column. So the first column, the second column. Then inside the columns, I have these sessions so we have a two session column there's a column and there's a related session so to insert a session you, if you want to insert it under this place you just click on the existing session then you click on session then immediately you see that there's a new session that has been created then inside the session, you can put the various uh, components of the form that you want to show to the user. So assuming if I want to show modified on date, and uh, I also want to show uh, say status, it will be given or it will be, it will be included in the session. So this is how the session works. Depending on the number or the interface that you want to choose, you can choose a one column session. A one column session means that there will be only one long form across. Then uh, you can go ahead and put the various session in here. The two columns actually means that there will be two columns then inside the each of the column you have, can have various sessions okay so on the so this is straight away given on the fly by the model driven app it's quite uh, awesome but when you go to the canvas app uh, it is not available there you have to uh, find a way of designing it so for example this i have this uh, forms i have form one then i have another form from two this form and then that form because the various sessions are not available on the canvas app i use a rectangular line i inserted a rectangular icon 
then I use it to divide the session. So I have the gallery session, I have form one session, then I have form two session. So based on this, uh, you can use the border size or you can increase the border, um, the border height of the form to create a session or to create a line. Or you can also go ahead and insert a rectangular and then based on the height that you have to divide the various uh, screen into sessions to help the user uh, concentrate. I talked about some branching. For example, you may wish the user to enter or finish the first form before they go to the second form. In this case, you can say that if the first form is not completely filled, or you can tell that if the transaction field is not filled, then this session should not be visible. So that is a form of branching uh, for sessions on a form. So I hope this was very useful. Let's go ahead and use sessions on forms to ensure that the the interface is appeasing to the user thank you very much and let's meet once again